Composing gloves here and working with MIDI files inside of Renoise is definitely confusing. There's no clear information on this in the manual. And if you dig through the forms, you're gonna find a few things. I imagined in, the, in my dream world, you would be able to just grab a MIDI file, drop it onto a track, and it would put the MIDI, the that information there, and then whatever track number it is, that's the number that it would use. And then you could swap it out using the instrument swapper down here if you wanted to use some other track. And then if you double clicked it, it would simply give you the option, it would give you some of the classic options like splitting into the different channels or uh, keeping it all on one channel or, or merge options with uh, possibly existing track data already. But that is not how it is. That's my dream. That's what I That's what I wish. It would be so intuitive as drag and drop and just inherited the property of the number of the track with the with the thing up here. That would be so cool. Or if you put a number, maybe it looks at that number and it would automatically inherit whatever number there. It could give even more meaning to the naming convention. That could be so cool. But that's not how it is right now. And also there's no import feature, which which I thought there would be an import feature, but there's, there's not one. So how do you work with MIDI files? Well, if you have a MIDI file, so here's a MIDI file, and this one's quite long. If you if I click it, double click it, it'll open, and you see it opens them all up. So I've got like this huge MIDI file open, and uh, it's created a MIDI instrument for me, a MIDI instrument for me. And if I wanna hear this MIDI instrument right now, this is just the MIDI. If I wanna hear it, I could go to the, let's load up a plugin for this one. We'll load up, we're not gonna do contact yet. We're gonna load up phase plant. And uh, we'll just go with some default preset. So here's the default preset, sounds like this. And you know, we could try out the different pieces. Find one that we like, that these have all been kind of weird. And maybe we uh, we pick a better sound. It's gonna crackle a bit because I am using a 16 sample buffer. <laughs> Something sounds wonky here. Anyways, you get the idea. We've got our MIDI, we're able to use it and import it. Now, some I was unable to find, and I'm positive this probably exists, uh, I'm not sure how to do a group delete here yet. So if someone knows the solution to deleting like multiple full patterns at once, let me know. But what I've been doing is let's say I wanna use this one. I can hit while the pattern area is selected, I can hit control delete and it will delete the pattern before it. So I could just go ahead and delete things this way and hold down control. And that's pretty fast too. I just, I wish there was some other way. Uh, so if we go ahead and move it up here and hit control delete. And you know, there we go, we've got our track. Now, if you open up another MIDI file, so when we opened up the first MIDI file, it loaded up on, on this spot right here. But if we were to load up a different one, this time let's go for like some drum, some uh, some drum stuff or whatever, it's going to create a new track and it always puts it at the end of the song. So you'd have to come here, grab it, and copy and paste it wherever you want to use it. That's how you use it. I've heard some people in the Renoise forms specifically bring up using two instances of Renoise. Uh, I'm not experimenting with that at all, but some people do that instead. Uh, and a lot of people have hybrid workflows where they'll do stuff with MIDI inside of like Ableton or FL Studio or Reaper or wherever, and then they'll bring it into Renoise. So... That's why I'm kind of it's kind of curious to me that this hasn't been like more fleshed out because this has been talked about since like 2009 2010 era stuff. Uh, so maybe it won't ever get updated. I don't know, but you can see it comes in at the end here. Now, if we want to use this right now, we're looking at channel one because that's where the MIDI instrument is. So on this instrument, we could load up a sample or you could swap it to somewhere. Uh, but that's how the importing works. And then finally, one last thing I was wondering, so this is kind of the extent of what's possible with the MIDI files. There's one last thing you can do, uh, which I was curious about, which was a lot of VSTs have drag and drop MIDI functionality, and that does work. I was actually saw in a few places, people said it didn't work. Maybe that was true of older versions, but it actually functions now uh, with Renoise. So let's go ahead, let's go to just a blank. The blank one, we'll go to a plugin. We'll load up. This is why I had contact open. We'll go to uh, contact. Uh, we'll load this up. Ba -ba. And we'll go for some drums because the drum libraries, like Studio Drummer, for example, if we load up one of these, they have these grooves. You could play them. 
and you can audition your grooves and stuff. And this is just one VST that has it. And you can click and drag and you can actually bring the MIDI as a MIDI instrument on here. I'm not sure how to put it on the same the same channel because I believe they'll overwrite each other if I do that. Will they do that? No, it'll create a new one. How interesting. And we can see here that it's actually been added. And if I want to use this right now, they're using instrument number four because that's the one we have here. So we're going to have to select these and go to the end and we can swap these. So we could say instrument number four, uh, we'd like to be swapped with instrument number two and we can swap these and now it's playing correctly off of contact. So if you want to use the loops that come with it and do this drag and drop thing, you can. But this right now is how you work with MIDI to my understanding. If you have a further information about how to do this, or maybe you have some sick tool. I, I saw a couple places where people brought up tools, but nothing that like really popped out at me or nothing that a lot of people were passing around. So I don't believe I'm missing out on any tools, but if I'm missing out on some sick tools that can do every, well, like bring all my hopes and dreams to fruition, uh, let me know. But this is currently my understanding of how MIDI works and hopefully you've, you found this helpful. One other thing I saw people continually bring up is the config options for the import on MIDI. And I could not find this setting. And what I think people are referring to is if you bring up the preferences and you go to files, there is a MIDI import option. And in fact, if you right click on a MIDI file and go to uh, load with options, you'll see that these options are the same. They give you a MIDI device, lines per pattern, which is you know gonna matter depending on how long your MIDI pattern is, uh, creating instruments and all that stuff. And I didn't find this terribly useful. I, I was hoping that maybe this would have the merge information or like to place a track destination or to select a destination sample or instrument as opposed to creating a MIDI instrument. And something else I've not experimented with at length because when I think of MIDI, I, I typically only care mostly about the notes and the velocities and, and that kind of a thing. But these can carry a uh, CC data, continuous controller data as well. And I have just not experimented a ton with that. But anyways, that's pretty much everything I know at the moment about how MIDI works. This is how I tend to bring it in when I need it. And right now it's a little bit out of the way, but honestly, it's very usable. It's a very usable thing. It's just, you kind of have to go and do it and, and have some sort of a direction. It's not something you can goof off with unintentionally. It's not like integrated into the workflow, I'd say. And I think there's a lot of room for us to see it come in. So hopefully with you know, some updates down the line. I don't know how long, because again, it's been over 10 years. Uh, maybe we'll see it come in in a very uh, friendly way. I know audio tracks are highly requested right now, so they might be looking at that first. Uh, but yeah, that's MIDI files. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.